The Case of the Missing Acorns. It was almost winter time as many different colored leaves drifted off trees and crumbled to the ground. A chilly wind moved gray clouds through the air. The first blustery snow of the season would be upon the neighborhood soon. This was a very busy time for the squirrel family. In the trunk of Hercules, the mighty neighborhood oak tree, the squirrels had made their home. Here they gathered their acorns, a yummy delicacy they enjoyed above all else. They worked hard to collect a large pile so they would not go hungry over the long winter. But one day after returning home, the squirrel saw that half of their acorns were gone. Someone has stolen our acorns, Papa Squirrel shouted, extremely shocked that someone was rude enough to steal from them. Who would do such a thing? Mama Squirrel wondered. Their daughter, Sally, was puzzled too. Someone must have been very hungry. Even so, people shouldn't steal what isn't theirs, Sally said sadly. They looked around their hollow tree to see if the thief had left behind any clues. They looked high and low, and from side to side. There were no footprints to follow, and therefore no answers. The squirrel family decided they would gather new acorns to replace the stolen ones tomorrow. They hoped that no more would mysteriously vanish. The next day, the squirrels returned home to find another upsetting sight. Almost all of their acorns were gone! We have to stop this! Papa Squirrel cried. This thief is sneaking around when we're not home! We should ask our neighbors if they've seen anything out of the ordinary! Mama Squirrel proposed. They will help us catch the acorn snatchers, Sally declared. The Squirrel family asked Billy the Blue Jay, Charlie the Chipmunk, and Fred the Fox if they had seen anyone sneaking around Hercules. They all shook their heads. Feeling defeated, they decided to return home when they came upon Clover, the baby rabbit, munching on some twigs. Someone's been sneaking around your tree today. She said. Who did you see, Clover? I saw the shadow of someone. They're still up there. She nodded to Hercules, her whiskers moving as she talked. We have to stop the intruder. Thank you, Clover. The squirrel family, being skilled climbers, raced up Hercules, each surrounding the entrance to their home. They prepared to pounce, and they landed on Charlie the Chipmunk, his cheeks looking like they were ready to burst with acorns. Charlie? Mama Squirrel asked. The squirrels knew Charlie quite well and had never suspected that he would steal from them. It's been you all along, Charlie. How could you take something that isn't yours? Papa Squirrel asked. I'm so sorry, Squirrel family. I had to. I had to. Charlie looked close to crying. My family, they were attacked by that cat that lurks in the shadows. They got away, but need time to feel better. Now I'm the only one fit enough to find food for the winter. I wasn't able to do it all alone, so I needed some help. We would have shared our acorns with your family if you had asked nicely. Papa Squirrel said. I was afraid you'd say no. That was very wrong of me. I didn't think of the consequences. I'm sorry. Charlie apologized. The squirrel family reassured Charlie that everything would be okay. They gave him as many acorns as they could spare and invited him to join them in their work tomorrow. They would show him the very best places to find the very best acorns. It would be a cozy, acorn-filled winter after all, made better by friends helping friends. We upload new videos every Thursday. Click that red subscribe button so you never miss one. We'll see you soon.